Welcome to I'm building the supporters dream tool. Hey, I'm Eric and um, back in December, I built a compiler in AL compiler in AL. Um, you can find that in the, in, on the channel. If you perhaps not subscribe, you might have missed that. Um, but it's basically, it was, it was kind of projecting can this be done or not or not but uh, uh it kind of worked and it worked quite well um and a lot of the reactions i got on that was what's the purpose of this what do you want to use it for and uh, one of the things that i want to use it for is a tool for well right now i think it's a tool for me uh, it's a tool that i have been missing more and more as we transfer completely from nav and and uh, on-prem situation to a uh, to the cloud-based uh, world and it's a it, it's a sp special version of me perhaps it's the whenever i end up having a support task at our company uh, that you know there's something that we need to do let me let me let me, let me, let's let's do an example. So here is the client's. Um, this is a post that sales invoice, and uh, you know, got the client on phone or on Teams or on support ticket, whatever it is. That Eric, we posted this sales invoice with the wrong contact name, and yada yada yada. Can you please change the contact name of this so we can print the right contact name so we can get our money and we don't want to do credit memos and because something 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 this thought up scenario but but the fact is that that I think everybody who has ever been in a support role uh, on Nav or Dynamics Business Central you have received a request similar to this or oh we had a different something we need to change something that's totally innocent uh but due to the you know the way that business central has been put together you're not allowed to do it so what is the solution well the solution is of course that if we need to change the value of, of this guy we need to create a new extension or we perhaps already have an extension going and we need to write some code we need to um, deploy it um, perhaps we need to, to deploy it to sandbox first we need to test it and it comes very cumbersome you know, there's lots of uh, lots of time spent in in a task that should be relatively simple go in and and change the name if we were on uh, on a nav we could go run the table change the field will be done uh, but that's not the way it works anymore. So what I want to do with my compiler tool is let, let's let's keep using this example. So here is the um, the AL workbench name may change. Uh, anyway, this right now this is just for me because this will make me a better supporter. Uh, and uh, what we have here is basically three parts of a screen on on the left we have AL code on in the center we have a simple look up uh, functionality and on the right we have program output and and the way this works is that we can simply write AL code here so i could go in and say okay let me do war and i want a variable called ps record and this should probably be a sales invoice header. Um, begin. And um, well, what did the customer tell me? Oh, he told me that was this was on on this invoice number, right? So I can do ps get and and get this guy. Um, let's verify that we have the right one because before we start changing stuff it's always good to verify that we have the right one so so ps dot uh what field let's get the 
and this sometimes works and sometimes there's still there's still bugs in this right let's try again ps dot uh, let's what field were he talking about he was talking about the ship uh no he talked about the the build to contact i think he talked about see if we can find it on the list no the sell to contact sorry sell to contact well, that's that stopped working well, that's okay sell to contact so the idea here is that when you select something from this one uh it gets pasted into the source code um Maybe we got time in this video to uh, to fix that. Anyway, so that's my program. I want to make sure that I'm actually touching the right one. So let's run this. Okay, and we're printing out the right number. Let's go back and verify 215. And it says Robert Towns. And it says Robert Towns. Perfect. So I can now change my little program and say okay ps dot cell to contact is equal eric there we go and ps dot modify boom that's pretty good uh so i'll, I'll run this it ran you you saw that the, the the execution time thing changed if you were quick I go back, I hit a five, I have changed the contact. Dear customer, it's done. Um, and I have not had the need to, you know, deploy multiple time, upload multiple deploy times, depending on, on how it is. Um, then I can, okay, let's, uh, let's archive this and say, okay, so this was change uh, contact on sales invoice. So I have it. So if the next time I come around, I can go in and say, okay, I actually had that as a as a snippet. Even though you know, every, anybody who knows me is knows that I'm I'm not a huge fan of snippets. But uh, I decided to uh, to name the little piece of code you write in here as a snippet. Um, we have a blank snippet, meaning that that if we go and and say new, we get a whatever's in the in the blank snippet um so so you can you can get going with this so the idea here is that of course this was very simple but they might be let me actually you see load uh, this one or oh, this one just goes to a customer so we might want to do something on 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 all customers so if we go to customers and uh, maybe we want to let's see we want to assign a responsibility to all the customers hey eric could you assign responsibility come on wake up bc <laughs> Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Go. Uh, I'm worried. That was a hard task to look up. Let's fire up another thing here to see if we're still alive. We are. Responsibility centers. There aren't any. So let's say we want a new one called ABC. And hey, Eric, that's the one that you need to assign to all customers. So instead of uh, instead of the customer needs to assign this to a million customers, hey, Eric, couldn't you assign responsibility center ABC to all my customers? Mm -hmm. Sure. And so I can go in and then let's check. So we need to find customer. Come on. Customer here. And what is the field? Maybe I should actually also implement a field search function. That'd probably be a good idea. I'll think about that. 
That was a good idea, Eric. Uh, because I am not able to spell to responsibility. So let's see if we can do this. Cast dot. There we go. So let's run this guy. There's nothing after this. So, hey, Eric, please assign that to every customer. So let's do cast dot validate responsibility center comma and that was just the one called abc we want to assign to everybody and then cost modify there we go let's what did we do here we didn't do anything perfect let's exit out this one kill this one go back here now we can run this again and let's go back or press F5, and now we have assigned a responsibility to all the one. Maybe it come Cosmo comes back and says, there was, we actually want you to, you know, um, sorry, not here. Let's go up here and say, okay, on certain, certain customers that, uh, let's say that the name has the word ski in it those we need to assign the DEF one so so let's say that all the ones that had ski in them well that one should be assigned there so we go and say run and it's only for the 40,000 go back to this guy press a five and this one is changed so a a way to you know quickly interactive play with data a quickly in the interactive way of of helping my customers um to make make it way easier to actually handle those uh, support requests that somehow still ends up on my table um so i'm right now building this tool for myself um, and maybe if if the moon and the stars and uh, Jupiter aligns uh, this could be become an app in some shape or form uh, I don't think this is app source material it may be uh, but but yeah um, I'm, I'm not sure how it is, but actually I want to know how you would use a tool like this. Um, and one thing that, that I have thought about is that the, you know, the, the, the snippet list could actually be uh, be web service based. So, so I could have the entire pool of uh, support requests if more than myself are using it or if I'm using it across multiple customers and so on. So I have kind of the whole library of, uh, of, of snippets uh, available uh, to help me. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I, I, let me know in the comments below how you would use a tool like this if, if you had it. How would you, would you use a tool like this? Let me, let me put it this way. Uh, is this is this just Eric being totally over engineering something that that is is not really a problem for anybody else but me? Uh, I want to know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you're interested in see how this compiler thing actually works. Uh, go check out the other video because uh, that's pretty cool. I'll leave a link for that one uh, in the description below. Anyway, that's it for, for this little episode. Um, I'll see you again in the next video.